Hey YouTube, got another recap of Operation Devil Dogs for y'all. Uh, this is recap of round six. <laughs> so just going over uh, what happened this round. Um, this has been a very interesting game, very, uh, what's the word? Very educational game uh, in terms of seeing how certain scenarios play out and, uh, and uh, the craziness that can occur. But anyway, uh, before I get into it, I have one little thing to finish for the Americans. Uh, or for the United States. Um, on uh, Madman's turn, he mistakenly thought he had two infantry in the Philippines, and he brought both of them over and uh, offloaded into what he thought was empty German New Guinea. Uh, Germany came down and took this territory, but then on a previous turn went back up to fortify uh, the German territory. Um, so... Uh, he only has one infantry that starts in the Philippines, so I allowed him to retroactively grab this because this transport came over from Marshall Islands, and he wants to leave a guy there in order to get his national objective. So I allowed him to come over here, grab that bonus retro, uh, not that bonus, that infantry ret retroactively off of Guam, and then this turn he's going to go one two and attack this territory here, and I'm going to roll it out for him. Let's see what happens. Okay, so he's got two infantry at two, and I got one infantry at three. And two hits. Kablamo. Okay. And I also get a hit. Okay. All right. So one for one. America takes German New Guinea. How about that? Okay. All right. So that leads us to the casualty bin for this round which is a lot of chips. Uh, there was one Austrian plane that, uh, that uh, suffered a fate in the Black Sea and uh, mostly infantry and some artillery, you can see. Uh, yeah, lots of stuff. A uh, little, this was more of a positioning turn this round, so the fights were a little sparse in comparison, but still a decent amount of uh, casualties for the round. All right, now, with all that out of the way, let's get into it. So, Austria-Hungary, like I said, lost a fighter uh, in the Black Sea. Um, everything of Austria-Hungary and everything of Germany are on these two, um, what's the word again? Task Force markers. Okay, and uh, those are both in Crimea, and there's some Ottomans here. And he took the two fighters, tried his luck at a pot shot, and... Uh, did not have success against this uh, this pesky Russian cruiser that's been there all pretty much all game. So one round of combat didn't hit cruiser hit hit him and then he flew back. So that's that and uh, that's what Austria did Austria did there. And then do I have all my lights on? Yes, I do. Okay. Um, he basically beefed up Dalmatia. Um, he took Tyrol. Uh, minimally, since there's, there only was a do one infantry there, so he liberated that, and uh, he's because he's gotten so many elites via tech, he doesn't need a third elite, so he's kind of left this guy out to uh, out to dry, so to speak. But um, didn't really matter much because the Italians came back; they did not take the bait to take out that elite. Um, and then Greece, interestingly, it's round. Beginning round seven, Greece still has not been uh, taken. It is basically being treated as a buffer, um, more or less. Maybe the ship has sailed on take, taking Greece, but anyway, Greece is still neutral. Um, what else? Uh, he's positioned himself with his cavalry in Bulgaria, and uh, he's built some stuff at Austria. Um, let's see, he did get a tech. I think he got improved sea mines. He got improved sea mines this round, I believe, and uh, uh, or maybe it was a trench works. I'm, <laughs> I might be forgetting, but one of the one of the last rounds he got he got I believe this round he got improved sea mines. So um, he built up his navy here just to uh, you know continue that naval arms race there, um, and uh, that's basically what Austria Hungary did this turn. Russia did what Russia does, which is just beef up Volga significantly. There is an absurd amount of units here. Uh, the way Madman likes to play Russia is he just backs up, backs up, backs up, and basically does uh, nothing that the Russians did in the actual war, which was just 
throw their units at uh, the meat grinder of the war, you know, just, you know, waves and waves of inf infantry to their deaths and stuff like that. Um, he has been very conservative with that. So he is gearing up for, uh, he's got this mass here, he's got this mass, uh, smaller mass here in Belarus, and he mobilized another plane, so now he has three planes that can hit, well, they can go multiple different places. Um, but we basically have this continued standoff between all, all three central powers and the Russian horde right here. So we'll see if this pops or not. Uh, the one Frenchman uh, has made its way his way up here into eastern Ukraine to uh, fortify that. Uh, there is a trench works here. It's been contested and just nothing has happened there since. Um, let's see. Um, yeah, and he built more cavalry in Ingria and just has a glorious amount of... Uh, I don't know, but this this whole thing is is interesting, and I think this uh, this will it'll pop soon, so to speak. Um, but I don't know. We'll get to it, I guess. Um, let's see. Do, 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 do. Germany. Okay. Well, things are getting really tight for Germany since pulling back with the navy. Um, just Britain and uh, um, the U.S. throwing everything they have at them up here. Um, France did an assault into Alsace after Germany stocked up and uh, tried to fortify that as best as they could. Um, plus, with uh, you know building units in the Rhine province, uh, Bavaria, and back in uh, Brandenburg with enough fast movers to give uh, some speed to things. Um, but that has not stopped the France France from uh, assaulting them. They did lose a lot, a significant number of infantry in return. Uh, there was not a dogfight. What they did was they attacked Switzerland and Belgium and then flew into Alsace uh, uh, after the fact. So they gave the Germans air supremacy uh, at a cost to them, but that, all of this business, combined with all of this business that has now landed here in Belgium, the Germans are in for quite a, uh, um, quite a squeeze, uh, so to speak. Um, sorry, my dog is barking in the background. He's just going to have to wait. Parking for my girlfriend. All right, uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Okay. Um, anyway, uh, so the arms arms race slightly continued. I believe I built a cruiser this turn, um, and uh, the the Russian dreadnought has has continued to stay in the Baltic Sea, not going back to the safety of its ports. It basically, just trying to entice Germany as bait, and so that's been. It just has been continually happening there. Um, Cause I presume as soon as any of those units come out of there, they'll hit it. So we'll see. Um, what else? Uh, Germany down in Africa has had quite an interesting time. The units that came over all the way from off the coast of Chile, uh, the Pacific units have made their way this way and swung around to season 12 collectively with the Austrian cruiser and landed in um, Nigeria, taking out um, a French infantry there, as well as reclaiming Nigeria. And that's significant because that basically prevents, that means that uh, uh, France is not gonna get Cameron. And if France has all of their original African colonies, plus Cameron and uh, Cameron and Togoland, but then they get an additional, the national objective of plus three. Um, if they control all of their African territories and plus Madagascar, um, or including Madagascar rather. Um, so now that that guy is gone, it's very unlikely that France will be able to get that national objective to continue their pipeline, this, uh, their steamrolling, uh, um, economic force up there. Anyway, uh, so they took it without casualties and, uh, have continued to, encircle South Africa, so to speak. And Germany got an elite. So uh, via tech, they got an elite. Did they get a second breakthrough? I think they did. Um, I believe that was it. They got an elite, and so that went down in German, uh, German East Africa. Uh, so now there is a... Um, uh, the Germans have an advantage, have a, have a, have a, have a sizable advantage in Central Africa right now. Interestingly, 
uh, I have all these trips out on the board here to denote. Neither side has the Africa victory point right now. Um, each side has uh, um, nine territories. So one, two, three, four. F basically, what contributes to the African point is dominant control or most you know highest control of British, French, German, uh, and Ottoman aligned territories. So these British aligned territories don't count. The Italian territories don't count. Abyssinia, the Fr the Spanish colonies, those don't count. Um, but the three um, the three. Uh, uh, Pro-Ottoman territories count, so Cyrenasia has been left alone this whole game. The Allies just haven't haven't attacked it, at least not yet, but they can always just save that for later. But right now, it's technically 9-9. Nine to nine. So we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, interestingly enough. Uh, Sedan has just been empty for a while, but the Allies just won't liberate it for one reason or another. So... That's fun. Uh, but anyway, so that that can obviously change the Allies' favor very quickly, but maybe putting that off will cost them. Who knows? We'll see. Um, let's see. Let's see. Do, 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 do. What else? Uh, the Brits have just been fortifying in South Africa. They have not been branching out or attacking any of these territories that the Germans control. Germany did liberate uh, German Southwest Africa this turn. Uh, previously, they built a truck to give them some options in uh, German, uh, out of the military base in German uh, East Africa. Um, yeah, fun stuff there. Uh, after the raid in Alsace, this is what is left for Germany. All these fighters, all these fighters, two tanks, an elite, uh, a few artillery and some machine guns. So yeah, Germany is in a tight pinch, especially with all of this stuff coming at it. So uh, the Western Front is looking very grim for the Central Powers. Uh, we will see, though. We'll see how it goes. Um, they do have a, a sub up here in Season 24 convoying uh, the Russians this turn, so that'll be fun. Um, that's always fun to be able to do, basically. Uh, so if the Zeppelins don't work out, then hey, maybe that works out. Maybe they all work out. But anyway, uh, Germany did do a bombing raid against Ingria, against Petrograd, their capital, and uh, missed both bombs, missed completely, so nothing happened there. Uh, let's see, moving on, let's see, uh, da, 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 da. France tried to do a pot shot against, uh, the Ottomans in Mesopotamia to free up that, uh, to free up that territory for the Brits to be able to move out, but, uh, alas, that Fr French, that Frenchman failed, dying for no reason, uh, not getting ahead, uh, so that happened, um, Japan has come down and taken Bismarck Archipelago, and the last, and as you can see, uh, German, uh, America just took German New Guinea, so right now, the only, um, and then previously, or at, maybe on the same turn actually, uh, Japan uh, liberated French Polynesia. So right now, in order, the only... Technically, the Central Powers still have the Pacific uh, Colony Point, but because they control Papau, but <laughs> obviously that's going to be liberated next turn. But technically, they have it um, for the time for the time being, at least. Uh, let's see, Britain. Uh, Britain built more. I think another cruiser, if I recall correctly. Um, they moved stuff into Belgium. They moved a few things into uh, some fighters, a truck and the infantry into Alsace so they could bring more fighters into there. So right now, that whole area is just padded with, uh, padded with fighters uh, on, on all sides. But uh, allies have the edge, so to speak. Um, and let's see, what else? What else? Okay. Britain uh, cleared out Mesopotamia, like I said, uh, after after that Frenchman failed. They also took Arabia, uh, and they've just been steadily building out of the military base in Egypt. Um, pulled their damaged dreadnought back to get un to get uh, repaired um, by the Italians on uh, on the uh, Britain's next turn. And uh, let's see. Uh, does that the Ottomans uh, still being tied up here? 
continued to build in Mesopotamia. Um, the units that they uh, aligned last turn Dervish State, everything went to uh, British East Africa. So we got the, we got some Ottoman guys there. Um, let's see. Uh, Ottomans got a trench works this turn, which they put in Marmara and also boosted that boosted uh, Palestine with barbed wire. So right now, if the Allies do want to go for about Palestine, it's going to be a really tough nut to crack. But Maybe it'll be easier with all this stuff that's on the way and not much in their way. So uh, it's uh, looking it's looking gnarly for the Ottomans right now. Okay, um, Italy, like I said, uh, backed out of Veneto, leaving one guy in Veneto. Did not go for Tyrol. Um, built ground units and a fighter, um, and came down here with the Brits to hopefully. I suppose they're hoping to uh, trap the central power, the remaining central power fleet in the Atlantic uh, into here. So that'll be fun. Let's see. Or no, I'm beyond that. Not that not that it'll be fun, but you know, fun for him. You know. But <laughs> anyway, uh, all of this stuff here is in uh, Tuscany. Yeah, put that there. All that stuff there is in Tuscany. Again, Italy has a whopping three techs, elite, poison gas, and machine gun. Although I do know that he's very unhappy that he doesn't have a trench works. But anyway. All right, so there's that. And then the U.S. Uh, came up with their fleet from uh, Brittany, unloaded a bunch of dudes into Belgium. And then we have some more guys on the way, including a tank. I have a... Uh, Nice little 3D printed skeleton tank that I painted a long while back. Built some more units there. Brought some guys off from Brazil into uh, Morocco. And then met up with this British cruiser here in season 14. And that has basically been... And then with that current event right there, it has basically been the game. Oh, wait. And China, of course. Uh, the Empire of China is on uh, death's door. Uh, so, uh, the uh, Republic of China... Uh, took out Chahar, walked into Sikang up there, and uh, contested Zhejiang with uh, no results on either side. Um, the, so basically, there's not much left for the, em for the Empire of China to do. So uh, Central Powers uh, have the have this uh, the uh, China point, um, but this is what it's looking like point wise for the game. So. We know that we know that the central powers are not going to keep the Pacific colonies point. That's more of a technicality. But right now it's looking one, two, three, four, five to one, two, three, four, five, six. So central powers are still winning for the time being. Uh, we'll see if we can make headway elsewhere. Uh, again, I am playing as the German Empire and uh, Krautfather's playing as the Ottoman Empire, uh, Republic of China, and uh, Austria Hungary. Madman is playing as. Russian Empire, Empire of China, um, United States, Kingdom of Italy, and then Jonah is playing as the French Republic, the British Empire, and the Empire of Japan. Uh, it's been a fun game. I like playing with these guys. Uh, Man Man, obviously, is my co-creator. Um, anyway, backing up, let's go over with what the points are currently. Right now, Allies have Western Front, Favorable Trade, the Russian Revolution, um, and uh, Middle East oil, newly acquired, and the, and they will have the Pacific Colonies point. Uh, um, Central powers have the Balkans, Black Sea, China, uh, Empire, just barely. They have an 85. That's exactly what you need to have the, the uh, Empire point. So right now they just barely have that. Um, I presume they might dwindle further. And they have Belgrade. They have Belgrade, so they control Serbia, so they have that. Uh, and they have three minor cities. They currently have four minor cities, but um, I think they're going to lose at least one this turn. So we'll see. But uh, um, yeah, that has been that. Allies have only one minor city. They have Basra. Right there. So Basra. Allies have Basra. Central powers have Baku. Um, Kiev. Warsaw and Bucharest. Um, they are contesting Strasbourg, so they may be getting another one very soon. 
All right, that about does it. Uh, on to on and up. Thanks for watching if you're watching, and uh, on to uh, round seven uh, for Operation Devil Dogs.